morning and welcome everyone to the Trading Success, the Beginners Online uh, Trading Webinar. My name is Danny and I will give you the webinar today. Before we will begin, as always, I would like us to go through a quick sound check. So we will know that the sound is in a proper level and, of course, that the chart is visible for, uh, for everyone. In that case, guys, you may use the question section uh, to comment to me that the sound is okay for you and that you can see the screen and then we can happily uh, proceed. Okay, just so the thank you, Jacob. If more people can comment, I just want to know that everything is okay, guys. Otherwise, uh, there could be issues with sound or I don't know. Thank you, Felicia. Very good. Very good. Everybody, I hope that everybody else can hear me just fine, right? And that you can see the chart. Nobody commented about the chart. Thank you, Will. Very good. Okay. So let's just pre let's uh, begin. Okay. So like I said, I'm Danny. This is maybe the beginner's online trading webinar, but we're going to learn some advanced things as well. Okay, so I will explain to you how the webinar is going to happen and then we will begin. So the first part will be more of an introduction. Uh, I'm just going to go around and show you several things, functions, and all kind of things in, in this facility, which is called the Web Trader. Okay, we're going to explain it further on. Um, we'll have a nice introduction to the company and the services as well. The second part will be more practical with... Uh, considering certain decisions about buy, sell, the logic behind the uh, value, leverage, spread, and margin impact, and some other things around here. So trading would, would make more sense if you're a beginner. And lastly, analysis that, that will be the cherry on the top, only if we will have the time for it. Okay, so, uh, oh, just before we hit the road, it's important to know that any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for uh, informative purposes only and should not be instructed or applied as an investment advice, a recommendation, or a suggestion. Now, guys, oh, one more thing. The webinar is recorded. So even if you've missed the part um, because you couldn't see it or you something wasn't fully understood, so you can just review the webinar later on on our channel. For your convenience, hopefully it will be today. Uh, could be even tomorrow, but uh, I hope it will be uh, the sooner the better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for a few moments, then I will be back and we will begin. Thank you very much. All right, so we are back, and I think that <clears throat> everything is exactly as we expect, and we can finally hit the road. Like I said, I'm Danny. This is a live webinar, guys, so you feel free to ask whatever you want. Right? You can use the question section. Uh, freely not just to tell me that the sound is okay i hope that everything is still okay right at least on my end it looks good can everybody still hear me properly on a normal level it seems a little different now distorted okay so ashley you commented that i sound a little distorted anybody else feels uh, hearing me a little distorted through my voice, or maybe maybe it's ju just that. Okay, well, I hope it, nobody else commented about that, so I, I just hope that everything, uh, that everybody else can hear me smoothly. Okay, if somebody can comment, that will be amazing. All right, I hope that, thank you, Jacob. All right, perfect. So we're just gonna begin. What we're looking at right now is called a web trader, okay? Just a second. We're going to have the uh, nice notepad here to help us out and to write down a couple of things. Very well. Thank you, Olu and Aya and Befring. Okay, perfect. So we are going to begin, like I said, with a quick introduction. This is the web trader, guys. Uh, to access this interface, you basically don't need to download anything or to intel, uh, install anything. Okay, as soon as you log in with your email and password, should appear. Okay, we also have it in the app, which is called Avago. Um, similar, similar interface. It looks, it looks a bit different. Uh, frankly, I would maybe analysis on the computer might be more convenient than the phone. Logically, it's a 
smaller, usually smaller interface, but everybody can do what they want. Uh, beside that, we have the other platforms, which I'm going to, to mention a little more comprehensively in a minute. Okay, um, this is the facility right here at the bottom left. You can access in case you have a, a query or a question. You can find here the customer service through the chat or the WhatsApp. Or if it doesn't look like this, you can just send an email to cs at ivatray.com. Um, it, it should look like this though, but if you're logging in and it looks a bit different, there are several reasons why it could look different. You can just ask this, the customer service to apply it on your account, right? Can you baffing? I'm not sure that I understand you. Unfortunately, if you can elaborate this question, that will be amazing. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, if it doesn't look like this, you can just ask the customer service or your senior account manager. One of the biggest advantages that we have, guys, is that we assign a senior account manager as soon as you funded the account and you're eligible, uh, you can get a senior account manager to assist you along your way. For a beginner to have a professional trader assisting him and, okay, oh, if we interact with a trading view, no. Fortunately, no, uh, Baffing. I believe we're not. Maybe in the future though, never lose hope. Uh, <laughs> so senior account manager can definitely give you support along the way, which can be extremely helpful because as a beginner, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do. And a senior account manager is a professional trader can give me the inputs that I want. Okay, including a plan, a strategy, risk money management, uh, certain, uh, um, Never mind. I wanna get into that, but a senior account manager can be extremely helpful. So as soon as you've made a deposit, go and check if you're eligible and get yourself a senior account manager assigned on your file so you can attend them with the uh, questions about trading and uh, customer service can assist you with the customer service inquiries. Now, we're gonna proceed and keep mentioning the platforms that we have, just so you'll know what the rest of the platforms uh, are, which is MT4, oh sorry, I'm actually I'm writing it, MetaTrader 4, right? We're just used to call it this way. In MetaTrader, oh, I'm missing an R here, uh, 5, right? MetaTrader, yeah. We also have our social and our options. You guys uh, already know that uh, this is not a webinar for options, so there is just no point for me to explain to you what, what it's that. But for people to know in general, this app is pretty amazing. Okay, it lets you see potential predictions. It lets you uh, pre-sell or pre-buy, and that's just amazing. Okay, in a later segment, if you want to review the position and to rebuy or resell, you can still do it with our options quite conveniently. So whoever is trading options, I highly recommend. Now, our social, well, it's quite self-explanatory. It's a social media. What it does is it lets you follow traders, right? Following copy traders. We're just gonna explain on a nutshell what it means by that. Okay, um, follow means that if I have found a trader to follow, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get his positions in a form of a message notification uh, to be exact. And then it's for me to decide if I wanna do it or not. Uh, copy means I'm gonna get his positions, but it will happen automatically. So I can keep keep uh, keep record, uh, keep the record in my sheets if I want, and it will happen automatically. So I don't even have to waste any minute to, to, uh, to do anything, okay? So in here, it doesn't happen automatically and I get my trader's positions and in here I get them and they're executed with automatically. Okay, uh, those are the platforms that we have. It's uh, what I'm gonna show you will only be available on the web trader, okay? There are features, the features that I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go through now, cannot be found unfortunately on MT4 and MT5. Before I carry on with the guide through about the website <clears throat> itself, sorry, just a second guys, I have to uh, liquefy myself, just a second.
All right, perfect. So before I carry on with the guide through, are there any questions about what I said so far? Anything about Ava Social or anything about the interface or the senior account manager or anything else? Mm -hmm. You teach us to trade. Well, Tobias, this is an excellent question. If I will teach you to trade. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to try. We're going to try. At least this is what the webinar exists for, right? But uh, no, uh, jokes aside, I am going to give you the inputs, the basics, fundamentals for you to understand the concept and to have a nice full overview about the market and how to approach it to teach you how to trade in a webinar that is less than a less than an hour. Uh, again, I'm gonna do my best, but I do suggest uh, if you want to to, uh, uh, to ask your senior account manager, he can give you much more time than the webinar. Okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna uh, try. Okay, and that was an excellent question. Okay then, so we're gonna carry on with the guide through. Um, what I'm gonna do is to show you what is here new on the left okay uh let me fold this down okay this is how by default it's supposed to look like right so if i'm gonna go all the way down we have here the light blue uh, three lines right at the corner left upper corner and we're gonna go down one two three four five oh, okay so in here we have the positions so if i took a position it will be appeared it will appear here uh, here I have my orders, so if I have later on, we'll understand what it means pending orders, but for those who knows, uh, this is where it can be found. This is my history for when I keep track of my record. And under that, we have this new, uh, the three three additional uh, icons. Okay, and here it's just different different platforms. We're not gonna go through that now. Uh, and in here, if I'm clicking on the signals, oh, let me first, let me, maybe I'll show you that from the outside first. This, but by the way, this button just sends me back to the default screen. So if I lost my way for some reason, I can just click it and it will send me right to the beginning, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fold this down so I can be exposed to the lists behind the, uh, behind the chart. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you, I wanted to show you the signal section, but before I'm showing you the section itself, I just wanna show you that you can access it from the outside as well. Now, what, what do I mean by that? Um, if I'm looking in here at Australian versus Japanese yen, which is, well, apparently this is the pair that we're looking at uh, at the moment, okay? What I did is I folded this down, right? And if I'm looking at here, the light blue icon, and I click it, it sends me to the signal that I can get uh, for this pair. Now, what does that mean exactly? Let's bring this up. Okay, you see this one is provided by the Trading Central, okay? We're not making the signals, we're providing it, uh, but they are created by uh, uh, the Trading Central, which they are amazing. And what I'm gonna show you now is how the signal is constructed. We can see here that it's elaborated quite nicely on the chart. Uh, we have two scenarios. Well, we have, a, uh, we have a buy scenario, we have a sell scenario. In here it specifies to which price it was related to. <clears throat> and it also gives me the, I'm sorry, the key ingredients, okay, to how the signal was pro uh, productive. Now, we can see that the price just a second, something here. Oh, the time frame. The time frame. This is why I couldn't find prices. Um, the the chart oftenly referenced by an by a different time frame. So actually, I'm looking at weeks, right? And this is daily. This is why it looks a bit different, right? Let me switch to days. 97.60, this is where, don't worry guys, there is really no no, no reason to, to know what I'm doing now. I will explain much more comprehensively uh, in a minute, okay? I'm just showing you purely uh, what is presented right here on the, on the tiny picture, just so you can see it a little more clearly, 96.900. It's over here. 
Okay, I can be exact. You see, I'm missing here less than a cent, but uh, in here, 96 or 90, this is a little lower than that. 96, yeah. The reason that I'm placing it, guys, is not mandatory. Just a second, but it helps me indicate a little better before I move on with the signal. Just going to show you in a minute how easy that is without doing what I'm doing. It's just my nature as a trader. It doesn't let me uh, proceed before checking that. Okay, but it's not mandatory. So what did I do? I just looked at the levels that are here. There are certain edge points on the chart. Okay, several levels that helps us indicate. And um, they are called support and resistance. Okay, so if this would have been my very, very big racket angle, right? And this would have been my so-called uh, squarey thingy. Uh, so this would have been my roof, right? And this would have been my floor, my ground floor. And those certain levels can help me indicate, you see there is a nice, uh, there is a nice uh, segment in here, which was exceeded several times. You see, this could be a nice resistance. It was breached a couple of times. Uh, this is actually another resistance. This maybe another resistance. But I guess you guys understood the point, right? This one underneath, we have another one. Okay, and here we have another one. All right, so Denny, how many support and resistance are there? Well, there is no answer for that, right? There are many, many support and resistance uh, out there. And more than that, they're even they're changing as I am, as I'm going to change the chart, right? If I'm going to change it to a different time frames, I can find even more. Now, why am I showing you this? Because this signal is constructed upon a certain price, and there are certain scenarios. There is a sell and there is a buy. That means that if I decided to go with a buy, my intention is simply that the value will increase. That means that if the Australian versus the Japanese yen, the primary currency, which is the Australian dollar, is uh, versus the Japanese yen, that means that if the Japanese yen is weakening versus the Australian, okay, so the chart will go up. Okay, the same idea goes with if the Australian is, is strengthening, against the Japanese yen. Again, similarly, it will go up, right? Now, if it's the other scenario, if Australian is weakening versus the Japanese, it will go down. Now, when I'm buying, my intention is that the Australian will beat the Japanese, will uh, overcome the Japanese yen. Okay, when I'm buying, I want the, the, uh, the value to increase. Okay, and when I'm sell, it's the other way around. Okay. Uh, this is, by the way, this is how many uh, Australian, uh, sorry, how many yens, Japanese yen, I need to have to have one Aussie, okay? Uh, I want to show you another pair, right, so USDJPY, because Australian, because Australian is weaker than, the, than uh, US dollar. You see that in here, I need more yen to have one dollar. Okay, never mind. I don't want to delay about it too much. Where was I with the signal? Maybe we just we're just gonna stay with that. Okay, let's stay with that. Even though we placed the line over there. No, no, no. I want to show you. I want to show you. It's part of the preparations that again they're not mandatory. Oh, I hope it didn't disappear. Well, apparently it did. Never mind. So. The reason that I wanted to show you this is because there are two scenarios. There is a buy and there is a sell. Let's suppose that I go with a sell. Maybe I've done it a little too fast. Let's go with, now it's not gonna show us the signal. Okay, so let me show it from the beginning. This one, I'm just clicking one, then I'm choosing the scenario. Let's say buy, well, I have to expand it. And then it's showing me the levels that I showed you a minute ago, already placed with take profit and stop loss. Now, it's impossible to explain what they are, uh, what the signal is before I'm explaining you what these are. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you that uh, take profit is a place marked on the platform that if it reaches that price, it's gonna close my position with the profit. And a stop loss, it, uh, if it reaches down, if it reaches my stop loss, it's gonna close it with the loss. Now again, when I'm buying, my intention is that the value will increase, right? If the value will increase and reaches a certain level, I can close it automatically with the profit. Same apply with, uh, with the stop loss. Now, this signal is already predetermined. That means that as soon as I click on the scenario that I want, it's going to launch it. Uh, it's going to it's going to launch it automatically. It's not going to execute the position, but it's going to launch the signal. That means that the level that are here, okay. Let's see. Let's go with the sell scenario, okay. Then it's showing me the possible scenario here. It's showing me, okay, now I took a sell. That means that my intention is that the value will decrease, right? We said that when we buy, we want the asset, to, the value to increase. It means that when we sell, we want the value to decrease. Okay, very, very simple. However, if I'm looking at, actually this ratio is not, it's not that bad, right? I mean, okay. So when I'm looking at this scenario and I took a sell as an example, I can look at my possible profit and my possible loss. Some people like this ratio, some people don't, and that's fine. I'm only showing you the functionality of the signal. As you saw, three clicks and I'm in the, uh, oh, sorry. It, had, it has to be through the, the icon here, right? Then I expand and I can put the lines as I did, the horizontal lines, and I can see that the level makes sense and nothing has already occurred. Um, the reason that I wanted to show you that from the outside is because, uh, by, by the way, are there any questions about what I've explained? Even though this is not even, it's not even about uh, trading. This is super simple, just how to use the signal. But still, are there any questions about anything that I said so far? Feel free, guys, please. Okay, so we have a question from Nika. How do we know which one to pick? Well, um, yeah, thank you, Nika, first of all, for the wonderful question. But this is not something that we can conclude in the webinar uh, to know which one to pick. This is something that you have to uh, to do your own research. But but I can give you a little nice, maybe an idea of how to prioritize. Again, this is my own personal reference, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do is instead of clicking here, I'm gonna click on the signal itself. I'm gonna click on the signal section itself. And then I'm gonna show you that down in here, it's lined by linear signal production time. So that means that this is the, uh, just a second, something here doesn't make sense. Used to be, it used to be different. Maybe they switched it. Okay. All right. Okay, well. Apparently, it's the other way around. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the, this is the newest, right? This is the newest. There is a question here. Can you explain the robot signal? Which is the best robot? I have absolutely no idea, uh, Mr. Uh, Befing. I'm an educator, so robots for me to ask me which one, which robot is the best robot? God knows. But there are a few solutions. I'll speak about it. I'll speak about it. Just remind me, maybe in five, fifteen minutes, I'll explain about it. Just, just the idea. But robots, I don't know. I wouldn't rely on any robot to uh, make me a breakfast. Well, not not for the next 10, 15 years, but who knows? I'll, I'll explain about it in a nutshell. Okay, so uh, in general, as you can see, this is a linear, uh, this is a, a, a linear order. Okay, so this is the re most recent one. If I go back, I see signals that are already, let me find you one here, you see? Why does, why, why does it look this way? 
why does it look different than others okay if i click here on the view signal it shows me that it already passed a certain uh, level right so that, that means that the signal was based upon a certain level it already passed that level so that means that it's pretty futile to to tell me about it now this is why the signal is no longer valuable so if i click it nothing happens right yeah let's try the cell scenario still nothing happens you see it doesn't mark it doesn't mark the 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 levels because it doesn't exist uh, because it, it's not uh, effective anymore so when i'm looking at the signal nikki here you asked me how do we know which one to pick so this one can indicate uh quite well the, the production time and according to that you can understand okay if i'm taking a signal that was just produced Maybe it could be efficient, right? If I'm taking a signal for five hours ago, could be that the market has already passed a certain level. I hope that it helps what I'm explaining you now. Okay, so we're just gonna move on. This is a technical technical analysis uh, based, right? Support and resistance are among the umbrella which we share for technical analysis, averages and, and levels and statistics and so on. And we have the other side the fundamental uh, analysis umbrella which is uh, uh complex from a uh, new okay i'm telling you the stories but i can just show you the section right underneath here we have the new section just going to hit the button and okay so we have a lot of content here to read the advantage here is that you can see here at the bottom what is related to so if i click it it just uh scroll down the the instruments related to that i want to show you there's certain news this one okay i'm just going through here okay oh there we go you see there are certain things related to more than one asset and then i can enjoy uh, more variety trading if i want okay if i'm diverse and uh we're just going to carry on obviously this can be categorized differently see i, I can uh, refresh this, this page this is also by trading central uh, and in here underneath we have discovery in discovery section we can also find the economic calendar which i'm showing quite oftenly and through this uh economic calendar we can find the the uh we can find all kind of things okay it seems like this one has already passed why is it showing us showing it to you to us now maybe i can just click it okay okay well it seems like it doesn't reset the uh, doesn't doesn't reset what's what's up there only the selection okay never mind but i can either choose the date that i want will it work now no i have to change it from here okay we're gonna go from this all right and the next thing that i can do is i can filter it by the countries okay so if i'm going to go with us it's going to show me all the future events for there we go and then it's going to show me the the future events i'm just going to go down till today you'll see this is the fifth okay or you can just choose from here and it will give me what's what we have today okay and i can choose till you know what date i want or i can categorize not only by the currency i can also categorize that by the uh, how important the event is and how big of an impact it will have on the market so let's suppose that i'm only looking for things that make the market makes the making the market volatile i'm gonna go with a high it's gonna present me only well, apparently we don't have anything like that today. Let's go for it till next week. All right, okay. So we have the initial job claim, uh, jobless claim. We see that this has high important uh, and we can we can analyze it by the, the numbers that we have here. So if I'm looking at the economy calendar and I'm looking for a high event, uh, I can read what was the last result, what can be the future result and what is the actual only after uh it takes place okay now this prediction 
is based upon uh, let's let me see how much time we have left okay we're not gonna go there we're not gonna go there we don't have a lot of time and I still want to uh, who asked me but oh right Tobias you ask if I'm gonna teach you how to trade right which this is what I'm supposed to do so I think this is pretty much this is pretty much understood right I mean there is nothing complex here can choose something else if I want um holidays and, and economical uh, events here i can search okay but i don't want to delay about it too much so i think we can hit the road uh pretty much concluded the the first part we can move on to the second segment okay let's find ourselves a nice asset to to work with okay I actually think that gold is not something that we analyzed uh, recently isn't it okay but I want to show you a better way not necessarily a better way but I want to show you another way how to to bring down gold how to open gold so I'm gonna I'm gonna click here you see here uh, just a quick guide through about the toolbar right in here uh, we have the currency pairs name. We're going to click it, uh, and then I'm going to delete it. And I put down gold. And I can choose from the list. If I go to the right, we have the time frames. Maybe I'll, I don't want to analyze days. I want to analyze uh, weeks or maybe months. Up there, I have hours. The way that I've done it, guys, is I scroll down with the wheel on my mouse. But you have a nice toggle here if you're using a laptop and it doesn't show you that uh, under two hours you can just click here and drag or scroll down if I keep going to the right here we have the bar candlesticks or line there is a major difference between line and candlesticks we speak about it quite oftenly there are certain levels that I can never find if I'm looking at the line okay which will only be presented when I'm looking at uh, when I'm looking at uh, candlesticks Okay, certain levels that can be extremely helpful. Without those levels, there are certain things that I'm not get, be able to find on the chart, right? So just like magic, I'm gonna show you how those lines not always appear. Okay, you see those marked ovals that I place on the chart? If I switch to the line, they don't exist. Okay, maybe this one a little bit, Never mind. Anyway, uh, let's carry on. Okay, to get rid of those, I'm gonna show you in a minute how to place them on the chart, right? But just a second, uh, if, I, if I keep going to the right, there is a certain reason why I don't have any info from the candles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going to the right, click on no crosshair and change it to crosshair. And now when I'm following with my uh, hand across the chart, it's showing me here at the left upper corner, the on the squarey bubble, the information from the candles. And then I can know, okay, when I'm looking at months, it will be different, one month different. So if this is February, uh, January, December, November, uh, October, and so on, if it would have been weeks, then I can see seven days difference from a candle to another. You see this one is the second, this will be by ninth, this 16th, and so on and so on. Uh, if I keep going to the right, if I'm looking at two, a two assets parallel, I can just choose here a different layout and change it. Now I have wheat and gold. And, okay, let's go back to uh, gold for now. And in here I can add maybe, maybe let's take Bollinger Bands. Gonna click and drag it to the right. I'm not gonna change any of, any of the deviations here. Just gonna click save and it will be applied very colorful nice and um and looks very good okay so the way i've placed the ovals was from here i don't know if you could see there is a tiny arrow pointing down by clicking it i see the lists this is extremely helpful guys i think everybody should be able to use it um i'm not always focused on the levels to a point that I can remember my support and resistance. And for that matter, uh, I can simply place price lines. Okay. I'm just click, I, I'm, I'm just clicking on it. 
and placing it on the screen, not doing anything special. Click and drag, click and drag, right? Very, very uh, uh, simple. Okay, also a certain date, maybe that I'm analyzing. I wanna see what those levels, we already know that those were impacted by the, uh, I think COVID here was the interest rate decision, right? Several things here. Okay. Get rid of everything all at once. Just click here and clear drawing. Now, um, when I'm looking at gold, okay, let's suppose that this was done. Preparations was was done. Okay, we're gonna click here the buy button, and ooh, we still have all the nice things here. Uh, let's think. We concluded that part. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put the symbol that I'm analyzing, which is a gold. I'm going to place a few things that will help me construct the position in a way that makes sense. I have to have a target. Otherwise, even if I'm right with my uh, analysis, still there is no assurance. Just a second, guys. Right, so we have units, time, movements, and units. So as I was saying, even if I, let's suppose I took a sell because I'm looking at this red candles and I'm uh, thinking it's a sell, let's suppose, okay, and I take a sell. When will I close this position? I click sell, I make profits. Let's suppose it went down a little bit, okay. You can't even see it. Maybe it went down $34, perfect. Just gonna change it to the minimum. Okay, so let's suppose I took a sell and i took a sell and it went down for me to 2000 yeah not bad okay so i'm gonna make 35 dollars okay but those are monthly candles right so this is not a lot of money to make in a month okay so i need a target so i'll be satisfied then i'll know okay if i'm getting to that number i'm happy with that let's suppose that a thousand dollars might be good Right, let's say that the time length, I'm not gonna wait a month to make a thousand dollars. I'm ambitious. I want to make it in um, maybe two weeks period, two weeks, let's say, uh, maybe even one week. No, no, let's keep it for two weeks. Let's keep it for two weeks. Um, the movements, okay, movements or in parentheses, price difference. Okay, now the price difference, how can we possibly find the price difference? Okay, so one of the ways to find the average price difference, oh, by the way, why did I schedule the time length? Why do I care if I make $1,000 in a, a month or in a year? From this, there are a few reasons. One of the flavors is, uh, I want to know that it's worth a while. I'm not going to hold a position for a week, a year to make a thousand dollars, right? I split a thousand dollar by a year. It's less than 80 a month. It's not even enough enough to buy groceries. So maybe 80. I got myself curious. Just a second. So let's say a thousand. Where is our cal calculator, right? I was almost right. Okay, so $83 per month, it's not a lot of money. This is why it's not worth a while. And the second reason is I want to know which candles to analyze. If I'm holding this position for two weeks, what's the point? Oh, actually, I'm on the right time frame. Let's suppose I would analyze uh, hours, one hour, okay? Is it really helpful to analyze one hour when I'm planning on uh, holding it for uh, two weeks? Again, it could be doesn't cause me any damage, right? But it doesn't indicate me the the uh, the averages or the statistics or the levels or anything because I'm looking at hours. And if I'm looking at weeks, then every candle here is a week. That makes more sense to me. Now, if I'm looking at this, uh, at this picture, oh, we have to go back to months. Maybe keep it for weeks for now. Yeah, let's keep it for weeks. Let's keep it for weeks. Now, my question was, okay, so let's suppose 
we, uh, we, we, we go for two weeks, no problem, okay, that sounds pretty okay. Uh, if I do it uh, on average 1,000, that brings me to 2,000 a month. It's not a bad number. Not gonna get me rich, but it's not a bad number to begin with. Uh, let's suppose that now I wanna for, for fill the third ingredient. Now, anybody has any idea how to find the potential movement? Okay, so let's suppose I do think that gold is heading down, but I can't be too sure. It might be down to here, might be down to here, or it might be down to here. Let's suppose that I'm aiming for the, which color are we gonna pick? Let's go with a mustard, and let's go with this to the, let's make this one, uh, Torquez, and let's make this one blue, right? Yeah, let's make it blue. So how can I know which one of those lines is the preferred price? Because I need to be realistic. I can't aim for a price. Let's suppose that I'm aiming for this mustard price. I'm taking a sell. I think it will get there in two weeks. What do you think? Can gold possibly get? Just a quick question, right? Can gold go? from 2034 to 1864. Let me do the math for you guys. Yeah, just to save you the, the trouble. What do you think, guys? Is that, uh, is that, is that uh, doable? Is that doable, this, this flinch, flinch down? Can it fall? Uh... Let's see together. We are talking about roughly $170 difference in a week. Oh, sorry, in two weeks, right, my bad. In two weeks. Uh, do I get a yes or no? Well, what do you think, guys? Is this, is this doable, what I want to do, or this is a little far-fetched? Ashley, I don't see it's happening. Okay, Ashley, thank you for the feedback. Anybody else? Anybody else don't see it's happening? Could go if it only goes down. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Anybody else? Anybody else? Guys, last chance. Now we're going to apply something called the ATR and we'll see if it's if it's average. I can tell you from my experience that everything is possible. So to ask if it's possible or not, there is no need. Let me just show you this guy and you'll understand that everything is possible, depend on what's happening in the world. See that this, this is much more than one, is this more than 170? Let's see. No, it's not more than 170, but that's, Okay, never mind, never mind. Let me just show you the indicator. It just it's just a proof of of that crazy things can happen. Okay, so let me just add the indicator here. What I'm gonna do is to click here FX indicator, I'm gonna put down A V E, and then I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm gonna go through the specification here, the length, wielders is what we're usually uh, uh, using now. Okay, 14 candles that it's gonna grasp. Now we're on weeks, so this will be 14 weeks. The ATR is just one ATR for now, there is no need for more. And we're gonna make it, mm, we're gonna make it olive green. Okay, hit save, and underneath it's showing us that the average movement for gold per week is 45 and a half, 45, three, four, four, to be exact. And now, is now that you have the indicator, right? I'm gonna ask you again the same question, right? Even though some smart people already commented that this is not an average movement, we see that it's exceptional, but still, I'm gonna ask you still. This is the ATR, okay? Average range per week, right? Because we're looking at weeks. If it would have been months, could be something else, right? Now, what? so this is the average. Okay, and I'm asking, if I'm looking for 170, is this in the range or out of the range? What is bigger? Is 
Is this true or false? Right, so it's out of the range. That means that I'm aiming for a number that is possible, but it's not in my range. What will be in my range? Let's suppose that I'm looking for, uh, this is also not in my range. Let's suppose that the 2000 line is pretty much in my range, right? Let's go a little more ambitious. Let's go for 50, where is 50? Let's simply do that. Okay, that brings us to here somewhere. Okay, and because we're selling, we're gonna place, like I said, take profit is a price that our platform remembers when to close your position with the profit if it gets to it. Just a second. Okay, and we can see that this is $50 difference, so it makes sense that I'm making $50. Let me be. Do I need to be exact? Oh, it went down a little bit. About now. Let's make it this way. Works, okay. So $50, why am I making $50? This is exactly why, right? I'm selling one unit of gold. That means that, that means that one unit versus one, uh, one unit versus $50 from here to here, Okay, let's turn it green. And we're gonna have our stop loss with the red. Okay, just as an example. Okay. And when I'm looking at the difference between this and that, I see that it reflects as $50 potential profit. What if it would have been the opposite? What if if my stop loss would have been $50 up? It makes it uh, 2084. Was it 84, 83, right? Oh, it kept it kept moving. Never mind. Let's make it 1.71. Okay. All right, it, it keeps moving. I'm not going to change it again. But oh, something here happened with the with our line, right? Let's take this and we're going to paste it down here, and it goes back to where it's been. Right, so what I did, guys, is I clicked on the line and I changed the coordinates and then it jumps to where I asked. I can also change that, but it's really not mandatory for now. Just a difference, different preferences. Okay, so we can, care, <clears throat> we can carry on. Just a second, guys. Sorry guys, then I'm doing this little break. Sometimes my throat <clears throat> needs some uh, a little sip of water. Um, all right, so as we see, right now this position is well composed. I still don't know if it's gonna happen exactly as we described or not, but it doesn't really matter. I know that it's well composed and now I can get out to analysis comfortably. However, however, oh, we are missing the we are missing what oh right what i want to show you so because this is one unit and one unit versus fifty dollars can get me fifty dollar profit or loss but i want a thousand what i can do is i can simply divide my summary by my movements and then and then i'll know the units right so that means a thousand divided by 50 equals uh 20. Right? Oh. Let me also do it with you guys, right? Okay, and then I don't know, okay, so if I increase my one to 10, it gets me 500. If it increase, I increase it to 20, as it's written down here, it becomes a thousand, which is great. But the problem is that I can make a thousand or lose a thousand. Maybe this ratio makes sense to me, but I'm still not happy with the fact that I can wipe out 10% of my account in a single position, right? Therefore, 10,000 minus 1,000 equals 9,000, right? 10% exposure. How can I adjust? 
ten uh, percent to let's say five, right? Who can give me the secret ingredient? How can I adjust my ten percent to five percent? Because this is something that I must know how to do. I can't uh, can't lose and and gain the same amount. I mean, I can, but let's suppose that I don't want to. I want to just uh, lose the maximum that I want to lose. The maximum that I want to expose from this account, let's say, is 5%, not 10. Okay? So what I'm going to do, we said there are two things that determines how much I can lose or gain. One of the things is the price difference. One of the things is the units. So if I'll adjust the units, it will have an impact on my profit or loss. And if I change my stop loss, let's suppose that my stop loss is no longer $50 away, but 25. Okay, so we're gonna go with, a, let's say 20, uh, 60, right? Maybe a little less than that. Oh, sorry. Should have been 57, 71, right? Why am I doing this in my head when I can actually use a calculator? You see, sometimes it's pretty mandatory to use a calculator. Minus 25. Yeah, it was close with a 60, but. Okay, and now I am losing 5% and I can potentially make 10%. So I adjusted my ratio exactly as I want. Is this understood, guys? Do we have any questions? I almost forgot to ask. That's the problem when you're lecturing for uh, just a second. Okay, so I see that there are no further questions, but still, I want to know if everything is understood. Please share with me any any comments or any questions till this point, guys, and then maybe I can speak about support and resistance again. Very good. It seems like everything is in place and everything is understood. And I'm very happy that this is this way. I can uh, say another word about the value, the leverage, and the margin impact. Okay. So sometimes I want to know how much am I missing to to open a position. How much is required to open a position? This is this is super simple to calculate. I'm going to show you here the technique. So we have the price per unit. We have the units. And we have the uh, we have the value, right? The value. So we have the price per unit. The price per unit is twenty thirty three. Okay, we have the units. In this case, it's twenty. Let's make it ten. Uh, because the leverage is twenty, but never mind, never mind. Let's keep it as it is. Okay, the value is actually. Uh, 2033 multiply 20, which brings us to 40,000. I don't need to think too much because the platform already does that calculation for me. But let's clarify that together. Okay, as you can see, if I would have had the, the decimal, the decimal after the number, it would give me that. Okay, and then this value is divided by the leverage. The leverage is 1 to 20. That means that my balance will behave as if I had 20 times more. Logically, I can just take margin impact. Just a second. Requirement. There we go. Um, this will be divided by 20, which actually brings me to the exact number. This is why, right? Let me show you. Let me just show you that. Mm -mm, divided by 20. Again, there is no there is no point showing you that because again, we multiply that by 20 to get to this number. But if it would have been, let's say, 10, so as you can see, uh, the 20, 33 multiply 10 is this number, and if I divide it by 20, I need half. Okay, this formula, this structure will work with any other 
uh, asset on the platform. This is how it's calculated behind the scenes, okay, on the platform. This is how we are calculating it. We multiply the price per unit versus how many units. This is how much this position worth. And this is my necessary amount to open the position, the margin impact, okay? And it needs to just be available, okay? Not in the balance. Uh, and this is my multiplier. Multiplying, buying or selling. Now, because it's multiplying, again, with the same logic, I can just divide this by that number and then I know how much I need. Now, unfortunately, guys, our time is up and I, I'm really happy that we could, we could go through everything we wanted and we had additional uh, half a minute or a minute for questions. Uh, it's good. Tomorrow, we're gonna have the live Q&A. You're all welcome to join us. And in the meantime, I wish you best of luck with your trading and have a good day.